you're giving, that's how we live it Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians And choose to be an accountant because it's safe and Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel Bass Boxing Outdoors uh, Today We are going to be taking a look at another one of these I went out and picked up another one Because I wanted to check something out on that that I didn't do last time. So, y'all will be here with me for that. Uh, first, I want to say uh, thank y'all to everyone supporting the channel and uh, watching and liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. Y'all are doing a really good job. The channel is growing, you know, a little bit every day. So, that works for me. As long as people are liking and supporting the channel, we'll be open for business. And, uh, so yeah, uh, so next Sunday will be the giveaway. I've got it figured out, uh, where we're going to have two giveaways a month. It'll be every other Sunday, so that'll be two giveaways a month. And plus, you know, we'll probably have some little ones in between there. Uh, so... There'll be a lot of giveaways on this channel, so, you know, if that's something that you like, it's just the giveaways, and that's what you're here for, that's fine by me, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, anyways, we got this mother load box, okay, I bought it, it was 60 bucks, they're supposed to be over $80 in value, so, the last time I bought one of these, I just went through it and showed y'all all the baits. And I didn't even do, like, you know, a value check on it. And so I'm going to do that this time. I want to see if this box is really worth buying. Uh, I mean, if there's $80 worth of value in there, then that's cool. But, I mean, if there's even, even more or less, then, you know, I want to know. I want to know if it's really worth buying. I mean, everybody likes a big box, but I want to know, is there a big difference between that and, like, our elite box we get so yeah but anyways first off I went out and bought some stuff from the store so I wanted to share that with y'all <clears throat> all right so uh, anyways a lot of people have been commenting on my channel that I needed to get some of these Walmart brand lures and try them out and Everybody says they're really good, so I went and bought a few that I'm going to try out this year. This right here is the Ozark Trail Whopper Plopper. They call it a 3.5 inch topwater prop bait. Comes with uh, Eagle Claw laser sharp hooks. There's not a, okay, this one's just called the Black. So, when I seen these on the shelf, I was really impressed with them. Uh, I seen them, they had them sitting right next to the Whopper Ploppers, which was kind of convenient. But, anyways, here's a real nice look at this bait. I mean, they look identical uh, from what I could see of the Whopper Plopper. And the only difference I could really tell was the Whopper Plopper was, a, one of them was a little bit longer and a little bit fatter. And then they had a shorter one that was real fat. And uh, so, yeah, they look kind of the same. The little Whopper Plop, the little fin thing seems to work good. It's got a, a decent paint job. I mean... These things were only $4.95 or something like that, 4 or something. So it was right under 5 bucks. Uh, and like I said, a lot of people said they worked really good. It's black with like a smoky gray top to it. It's got the red gill plate in it, and then it's got little specks of red in it. And then the Ozark Trail emblem, which is right there that little mountain thing they actually use that for the eyeball which is kind of cool i noticed a lot of companies are doing that they're using their little emblem and the eyeballs and then of course you know you got your little red gill plate so that's pretty neat 
but all in all, decent paint job. The hooks seem to be all right, sticky. So, yeah, anyways, that's that. Y'all told me to try them out, so I'm going to give them a shot. Uh, a lot of people swear by them. So, yeah, that's the black one. And then I also got a bone colored one, which, yeah, it's called bone. I was going to get all the colors of them that they had, which was five of them. But then I was like, well, I don't want to do that because if I get them and then they don't work that good or I don't like them, then I'm going to have a bunch of them I didn't want. But like I said, the little plopper thing works good. Got a good little paint job on the top. Says that was Art Trail. And then once again, you know, got the little eyeball, the gill plate. All in all, I mean, seems to look like a pretty good bait. Now, I can't vouch for the action because I don't know. So, if y'all fish with these, you know, comment in the section below and let me know what y'all think about them. If you use them and they're crap, tell me. I just had a lot of, you know, comments for people to tell, trying to get me to try them out. So, then I went and bought some of these. These are called the Shutter Swimmer in Albino. And uh, basically, it's a swim bait. And first off, I'll say that the clamshell is real nice on it. And the color of the bait looks real nice. Uh, got a real straight, a uh, real straight tail. Got the spot for the hook. got a weird uh like licorice smell to it to me this almost looks like a pro blue color not albino so anyways there's that little tail so all in all it's not too bad like i said the clamshell the packaging is real good they did a good job on that I had a buddy of mine, he told me to take that clamshell after I get done using these and uh, save the little clamshell for other swimmers that are this size. He says he uses them all the time. So, smart idea. That's probably what I'll do. And these are four inch, yeah, five pack of four inch. I don't think there was five of them in there. Yep, there's five. I was about to say, I thought I only seen four, but there's five. And it's, uh, like I said, a four inch. And I said to use a, a three-aught belly-weighted wide gap hook. That's their recommendation. And then I got some more of them. And this one's in a bluegill flash. I kind of like this color. This color looks pretty neat. That's why I got it. It almost looks like uh, 13 fishing glitter bombs, what it almost looks like. But, real nice color. Like I said, their, plas their plastic seem to be made pretty good. They're not too hard, but they're not too soft. They're right there in that middle. And even their little tail has their little Ozark Trail emblem on it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's a little emblem on there. That's pretty cool. But all in all, not a bad little color. Got some blue and black and silver flake in it. So, and a bunch of uh, gold for the belly. So all in all, that's not too bad. And these ran me $2 and some change. I believe that's what they were. So, you know, I spent four or something on the Whopper Floppers a piece. 
two dollars and something on these what i found real interesting was these right here was their square bills they only had these for a dollar 97 and this one right here is what they call a white and i was really impressed with these too i mean for the price i mean you can't really go wrong for a dollar 97 i mean as long as the action works a little bit it's even got little oval oval split rings on it a lot of the newer companies ain't even got that yet you know the bigger names and i thought this color was real cool it's real translucent in the middle and then you got this little pinkish red bottom with that white real bright white on the top and then the white on the bottom and then it's just translucent through the middle it's a silent they didn't have none with rattles in it and this one right here uh runs one and a half to three feet so i don't know like i said just because it's a cheap price don't mean it's crap you know a lot of people get that they think that oh well that thing's cheap it ain't gonna work it's you know it's gonna be a piece of junk i don't think that i mean some companies can afford to make cheaper baits you know especially walmart walmart is you know a billion dollar in industry so they can afford to make you know pretty decent baits for a little or nothing and like i said their paint jobs aren't the best i mean you can see imperfections in them and stuff but i mean fish don't care about that and here's another one i thought was real cool this one's like a chartreuse and citrus citrus chartreuse i wouldn't even know how to explain the color on this one it's really weird so i had to get it i thought it would work good running through that muddy water on the days where it's raining it's got them little reflectors on the side then you got the little blue streak on the top with the chartreuse uh I mean, it's even got the little gill plate. I mean, and like I said, they put the oval split rings on there, so that's good. The hooks are a little sticky, and then it's got that bright chartreuse bottom. So, uh, like I said, you know, if either they work or they don't. I, you know, whenever I got there and I, people told me to go try them out, and I started looking at the prices, I was like, well, shoot, you know, try them out. I mean, worst case scenario, they don't work. I mean, it's not like you spent an arm and a leg for them. I mean, you can't even hardly buy a package of hooks for a dollar. And like I said, that was a dollar ninety-seven. And then I've seen these. These are real cool. These ain't Walmart, but this right here is a uh, Lucky Strike jig. It's a black and blue and uh black and blue flash is what they call it and it's a quarter ounce but man this thing was a dollar a dollar ninety a dollar might have been a dollar fifty or something and it looked really good so you can see the black and blue and the blue has a little bit of black in it too the skirt seems to be real tough uh so that's nice the brush guard is pretty decent i mean it's not flimsy but it's not real hard and then it's got a real big hook on it so that's nice got a little keeper there's just your standard keeper on there so yeah i thought that'd be all in, i mean nice for a little finesse jig And I bought two of these, because like I said, for the price of them, you couldn't beat it. Oops. So, all in all, I didn't think it was too bad. Not for a dollar ninety-seven. It's hard to find any jig for that price. I've seen some that 
for like Strike King, Bits, Bitsy Bug, and stuff like that for I think almost three bucks. So for a dollar or something, that ain't too bad. And like I said, I bought two of them for the same weight, same color, and everything. That was the only thing I didn't like was they they only had two colors. It was a that one and a green green pumpkin. And then uh, next up, I bought some of these. These are the X Zone four inch swimmers in a pro shiner color. These are really nice. I like these. X Zone makes some really good baits. They just, they don't have a whole lot out yet. And you can see this right here. It's got that real blue and gray top with that real bright silver bottom with the hook slot. And like I said, it's real flat on top. So that hook will bury straight up on top of it. And got a pretty good tail. And uh, so, yeah, I thought that was real nice. I liked it. Really like the color on it. I don't have none this color, so. And once again, they their smells kind of like that licorice too. I like their packaging too. Their packaging is pretty good too. Snaps together and all that stuff. And then I got me. The Guggen Contender Junior in the crappie color. For those of y'all that haven't seen this, seen it yet, I got one a while back when they first come out, and I, I bought the bluegill color. So this one I got the crappie, which is a real nice color. Works. This right here will probably work really good in those clear water conditions. Probably work even in the dirty water, really, with how bright that white is. Uh, the only thing I don't like is I posted this on Instagram the other day when I got it, and somebody commented that they had bought one and only caught two fish, and apparently the hooks broke off. And the fish, the fish wasn't even that big. He said he caught two small fish. And with that hook, it's got that 360 turn thing in it. So it allows the hook to keep spinning around. He said it broke off. So, but I know a lot of people that have been fishing, fishing it for a while now, they ain't had no problems. So I don't know if he just got one that was defective. Because, you know, anytime you release new, new baits like these, the first couple to come out are probably going to have some kind of problem with them. Uh, so I don't know, maybe that was just something that happened with him, a freak accident or something. And you know, there's never no telling what happened. He could have hit the bait with a rock or something and really hurt it by hitting it hard or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see. I fished, I fished with it the other day. Didn't catch nothing, but the action on it is awesome. I really like them. Yeah. I was trying to do y'all a fishing video the other day, but. I didn't have no luck. I didn't catch nothing. I even used the, what was that one bait? The 10,000 fish uh, headhunter. I used it. That thing works really good. Like I said, I, I had a couple of bites and that was the only thing I had a bite on. But the, talk, talking about a bait that runs through the grass and doesn't get hung up and works real good and has really good action. That headhunter's the deal. I like it. Y'all will see me fishing with that a lot this year. Unless I just get out there and can't catch no fish on it, you'll see me fishing with it. All right, so next up, we have the mother load. So let's get into this. This is what y'all come here for. <clears throat> See if I can get this one out. Last time I couldn't get it out. Let's 
looks like I might have the same problem. Come on now. See how many, see how many lures I can break before I get the box out. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm looking forward to this one. Uh oh. Alright, so I'm going to start with one that I just seen right off the top that I don't have. And it's one of my favorite companies. We got the 13 Fishing Motorboat. And I was just looking at these the other day, to be honest with you. And I thought about buying one, and then I turned away from it. Because I, I just don't know. That that thing with that little prop behind it looks... It's kind of... I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this one right here is the motorboat. It weighs uh, half an ounce. Got five odd hooks. It's four and a quarter inch long. Oh, it floats. Okay, well, that's different. Uh, the color of it is Cold Cuts, which is one of my favorite colors, by the way. So, let's look at this. I am glad to have it in my arsenal now, though. All because I like it. 13 fishing. Alright, so. Alright, so this is kind of interesting. So basically, it's like a little fluke with a prop tail on it, basically. And so, there you go. Flat on top. It's got a little spot, I guess, where you could bury the hook if you really want to. Or maybe it's already supposed to be buried. I don't know. But I'll figure it out later. But anyways, this is kind of, like I said, it's just, me, it's a little weird having a, a rubber with a, a plastic with a prop on it. So if y'all have fished with this thing and had any luck with it, let me know. I know these things were, last time I looked at them, they were kind of up there on the price end. And that's probably why I didn't buy it. But... Anyways, that's that. The motorboat. That's kind of cool. That is one thing I don't have in my collection, but I do now. Alright. So, 13 fishing motorboat. Code cut. I might have to fish with it and see. Next up is a well-known company. We got the Guggen zinger this is a sexy shed and it weighs three eighths of an ounce and i don't think i have this color of the spinner bait yet now i got the chartreuse back there so i'll have to add this one to my collection i guess one thing i think got kind of bent So y'all all know me that watches this channel. I like Guggen baits. I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with it. A lot of people have their opinions about them. And, you know, I really wonder if it's that they don't like their baits or they don't like the, the people. So, all in all, real nice spinner bait and I've used them they work good one thing I really like about it that they do that a lot of companies don't do and I don't know why 
is put a little rubber band up here. It helps to keep the line knot in the same spot instead of sliding around. And also, they put the weight of the bait on the bait. So you ain't got to sit there and, you know, try to figure out what weight it is, which is really nice. And I use a double bait keeper. So that's really nice. I like this color. I just, I haven't gotten around to buying any more spinner baits. I've got a lot of them. Uh, I think I've got three of the, no, I got one that's a pearl white, two of the chartreuse, and now one that's the sexy shed. I like their sexy shed color. I've got some swim jigs and some, uh, I think uh, their clickbait I've got in the sexy shed. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, all in all, that's a good bait. I mean, right now this box is looking pretty good. So, yeah, that's the Guggen Squad Zinger. Mm. All right. So, next up, we have the Vexen Rattling Wasp. Uh, one fourth of an ounce, number five. This is in a mad cow color. And you hear it rattling. Real cool paint job on it. I don't know. I'm thinking this is one of their newer baits. And if it is, it should be good. I know they had a lot of complaints about their baits not working right. Like they wouldn't swim right or something. And uh, so they went back and re-released the new line of baits that are supposed to be better. So hopefully this is one of them. All right, so it has a little red hook and a little regular hook. It has a weird looking bill on it. A uh, bunch of red underneath it. So, actually, this time of the year would be a good time to throw something like this. Uh, it's black, and I know in the camera that color looks white, but it's not really white. It's more pink. It's like a light tone pink. So, anyways, it's black with the little stripe, black stripes on it. It's got the pink tone, pink and white tone job with their bright red underbelly and that red hook. So, all in all, not a bad looking bait. Like I said, I, I hope this is one of the newer, the newer releases and not the old ones. Because if it's one of the old ones, then I know that it's gonna be junk. So, uh, I don't know what the depth is of this thing. I don't know. I'll get it back in the package. Uh, yeah, so there ain't no depth on it. But I would imagine with that lip on there, it probably dive pretty deep. All right, so that's that. Next up. Oh, okay, this is a company that I know a lot about. This is a good company. These are the Hyperlastic. I've been getting a lot of these from Florida Tackle. And uh, I've grown to really like them. This one's called the Dart Spin Pro. It's four and a half inches long. And the color of it is... A A U G, so I uh, I think A U, or I don't know how you say it, but uh, anyways, this one's their plastics are made out of like, you know, basically like Z man. They're supposed to be real stretchy, and every one I've gotten so far has been that, 
and they pack them in there real good. This is a little bit different. Than, this is kind of like that motorboat, really. See, it's got the little spinner. You can see where it's been screwed in there and connected. Their stuff is stretchy, just like Z-Man. And then you got a little lead head on there. And these things are cool. I don't know if y'all can see, but if you look real close in the middle, you can see. Oh, there it is. They're, they put little cavities in there for you to specifically to uh, put your hook in there. Like every one of their baits has like little hook cavities. Like you can uh, slide it into that cavity in and out. And it's real easy to get it in there without messing up the lures. So, anyway, that that's real cool. I like that. Something new, something different. Uh, definitely have to give that a shot. So I would imagine that's probably up there in price too, because their stuff's usually. I mean, it's not pricey but it ain't cheap either and basically all that is, is a little like a different version of an underspin or a little spin prop bait kind of thing so kind of excited to see that that's cool all right here's something different this is the weston shad tees and a fire flake these are three and a half inches long Uh, it's a three piece and that's all they say so let's take a look at them all right so this is a solid swimmer bait right here kind of neat got this little red part in the inside of the tail and you can see on the back of the tail it's green got their little emblem on there uh, and like I said, it's, it's solid. It's not, they don't have a spot for the hook to slide in or out or anything. So that's real cool. Cause you could actually use this on that back of that little hook or something. And, you know, you can rig these up a multitude of ways. So that's real cool. Uh, I know Weston's expensive, so I can imagine this is probably going to be up there. Packaging's good. They did a good job on their clamshell. And like I said, that's the Shad Tees Fire Flake. It's kind of cool. I'm getting a lot of stuff that I ain't seen before. All right, the Lunker Hunt Shock 2.5 Impact Series. I've gotten these before. I don't have this one. But this is a three-eighths of an ounce. It's two inches long, dives, dives two and a half feet. It's got a wide wobble. It's floating. And the color of it is red hot. And I have to say, Lunker Hunt makes pretty good swim uh, crankbaits. And they're cheap. You know, cheaper compared to some of your others. And this right here is a square bill. I think the other one that I got from them was a flat side. So, real nice. I like it. Uh, on the bottom, it's got, they start, I guess they started putting their depths and stuff on the baits. So, that's cool. It's good to see more companies doing that. And, of course, they got their name on the top. All in all, not a bad looking little square bill. And the good thing about it is that color right now is actually a good color to be throwing. That crawdad color. That's another thing. Y'all fishing these winter months and early spring need to be throwing something like that. That color. Bright reds, different color reds. They all work. Next up. Uh, okay. This is uh, different. 
This is the Freedom Football Jig. Three eighths of an ounce. The color is bluegill. These are neat. I like Freedom baits. I really do. Uh, I noticed they've uh, like paired up with chatter bait and stuff and made the Freedom chatter bait, the Freedom spinner bait, and now they got this Freedom jig, which is real cool. All right, I like the keeper on it. The keeper is nice. Look at that. Got the weed guard. Got this, like basically like a triple lock gripper on there and uh then it's got this big old head on there of course you know it basically wiggles all around in different directions that's why they call them a freedom freedom bait you can also change out the hook on this uh along with the skirt looks like it's just got like a little rubber skirt on there but yeah you can switch switch it out Put you a different size hook on there or whatever you want to do. So it's definitely got a nice little color to it. I can definitely see the bluegill in it. And there's your little wobbling head. So yeah, that's that's nice. That's something different. You know, all these different baits in here almost makes it worse than anyways, just because of the amount of different baits you're getting. That's really, I like that. That's cool. I've seen them before. I ain't ever gotten one, though. All right, what is this? Rillis Boostar weight bait. Five inches. That's a big old clamshell, and that's a weird looking bait. All right, uh, made in Japan. Okay, Boostar, weight bait, five inch, green pumpkin, red flake. Uh, let me know if y'all know anything about this company. I know that, uh, See if I can find any of them. Uh, I know the other day, uh, Steve Chapman, whenever he sent me that box, I had some of these in there made from, from the same company, but it wasn't this. It was more of a little finesse bait. So, let's check these out. All right. These things are crazy looking. They almost look like a six cents well. So as you can see, that's just a big old chunk of a swim bait. And it's got your little hook slot. But look at this. You got your little fins on the side. And you got your little hook slot. And right here, it's segmented. That's kind of cool. Like a segmented plastic. Huh. I like that. That, that. There's definitely something different. And like I said, it almost looks like the Six Sense well. So, kind of makes you wonder. But that's me. But you get five of them in a pack. That's kind of cool. And like I said, they're a big, big swim bait. That's all they are. That's neat. Original formula. I don't know what that means. But anyways, there you go, guys. That's that. Definitely getting a variety of stuff in here. All right, I don't want to see that. That's a sticker that has everything in there. But look at that. I ain't had this sticker before. That's cool. And then here's your little tips and tricks. Huh. Let's see what we got next. Ah. 
I like these. These are the Guggen Trench Hog. And this is in a natural. And y'all just seen me the other day do a review on these. I actually like these. I'm glad I got these. What are these? The seven pack natural. These are the six inch or? Yeah. So once again, I got the big ones. I, def I don't have this color. I definitely like that. That right there is cool. Definitely a good, a good bait. And I definitely like that color. It's got like a green pumpkin or a green or a watermelon on the top with that real flashy silver on the bottom. And it's two tone. You can see that. So, and of course, you got all these appendages down here that make all kinds of crazy action. And with springtime rolling around the corner, Whenever they start making them beds, this right here is probably what I'm going to be throwing versus a lizard. Normally, I would throw a lizard on the bed, and I still will, because I got those 13 fishing lizzy lizards I want to try, but I'll definitely be throwing these as well. <clears throat> That's good. I got me some more trench hogs. Now I don't have to worry about going out and buying anymore. Right now. Good deal. And like I said, the color of that was natural. These are a six six inch seven pack. Uh they don't say anything about weight or anything, so uh next up, all right, we got the Echo Pro Tunson Swing Shed four point eight. Uh the color of this is blue red pearl huh. another thing of swim baits ain't nothing wrong with them though it gives you something a different name brand to try out that's another one i really haven't heard much about but they do have a big old flappy tail with their little emblem on the back of it and you can just see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's got a little hint of red to it. And then, of course, your blue and then your pearl. Uh, it's ribbed, which is nice. Then you got your little hook slots. So, all in all, I mean, it seems to be pretty durable. Got that fresh plastic smell. So... Can't ever go wrong with uh, your swim baits, you know, your swim soft plastics and stuff. You can use them as is, or you can use them as trailers on spinner bait, chatter baits, you know. So, 4.8 inches. Uh, like I said, it's a blue red pearl. I don't know why they call it the swing shed, but we'll see. Next up, we have some Cabin Creek Bait Company. Looks to be some little crawl. Wow, that's a little video crawl. But you can see, it's got some big old flappers on it. These, these right here would go really good on that uh, that little fireball jig I just got. But see how thick that is? That thing's going to flush a lot of water. Looks like it's a chartreuse green pepper. If I had to guess for a color. So, that's not bad looking. It's another company that I really haven't heard of. Cabin Creek. Uh, looked to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight in a pack. So, anyways, there's that. Uh. 
Next up, we got some Guggen Slim Shake 9-pack worms and a Summer Crawl. Which I'm excited about these. I like their Slim, their slim Shake worms. They make a good finesse worm. Something about these things. These things work really good. Whenever you start throwing those little wacky rigs or finesse rigs, Throw you one of these bad boys on there. Two tone. It's uh, like a green pumpkin on top and then a bright chartreuse on the bottom. Or not real bright, but it's bright enough. It'll stand out. And of course, you know, they got the little ribs and they got little, I don't know if anybody's ever noticed it when they look at them, but they got little eyeballs too. Almost kind of makes it look like a snake. Like I said, I, I've never had any problem with Guggen baits. Uh, you know, like I said, if they work, they work. I don't see what the point is why people won't buy their stuff just because, you know, it's Guggen. But, you know, it is what it is. I like them, so I'll continue to use them until they give me a reason not to. They don't work or something like that. All right, next up. All right, this is a uh, Strike Pro Tournament Grade Beakster 90. And it's another one of them colors, AYU. Uh, the length of it is three and nine sixteenth inch long. Weighs five sixteenths of an ounce and it's floating and it dived four and a half to six feet seemed like i got one of these in the last one in fact i'm pretty sure i did but i like them i haven't got to use them but they do look really nice and uh, a lot of people said they work really good actually like i said they got this weird little cup on the front so i don't know what kind of action that puts off but a lot of people said they work really good, so I know it's a good size, and I like the color on it. It's silent. Seems like there's a little, in the middle, there's like a mirror, mirror thing that kind of reflects, so I can see where fish would really hit this, but all in all, that's that. That looks to be the box. Uh, all in all, to me, I think that was a pretty good box. What do y'all think? Oh, yeah, I got this little thing in there. They give you a chance to win something if you put this code in. I'll do that later. So, anyways, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to check out the prices of this stuff and then I'm going to get back with y'all and let y'all see if this box was worth it. So anyways, I'll get back with y'all here in a minute. So hey guys, I figured out all the prices for everything. So I'm going to give y'all the prices and give y'all the total. All right, so these little ca uh, Cabin Creek baits, cheapest I found them online for was $4.99. Next up, uh, these Echo uh, Pro Thompson Swim Shads. Found them on Tackle Warehouse for $3.49. The Hyper Elastic, cheapest I found it for was $6.99. Next up is the Bexon. The Bexon I found for five seventy nine. Next up, the Lunker Hunt uh, Shock two point five, the Impact Series for five forty nine. The Freedom 
jig was six ninety nine. The Weston Shad Tees I found for three ninety nine. The Relis the Relis Boostar Wake was seven forty nine. This one really shocked me. This one right here is the cheapest I found it for. I guess Strike Pro is an expensive brand, but it's $10.99. That was the cheapest I found it for. Uh, the Trench Hog, $5.99. Slim Shake, $5.99. Zinger was $6.49. And the Motorboat was $8.99. So, with that being said, the total uh, price value in this box was $83.67. I paid $60 for the box. So that means I profited $23.67. Uh, so that's actually better than what they said. They said it would be around $80. So I guess, you know, it could be a little lower, a little above or a little under. But anyways, we made $23.67 in profit, which I'm happy about. We also got 13 baits in that box, so that's a good deal, too. Uh, so anyways, that's the box, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I know it was a long video. Uh, so, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And uh, let me know what y'all think. What was y'all's favorite bait out of all this stuff? And let me know what y'all think about that box. Uh, so, yeah, anyways... See y'all on the next one. Y'all have a great night. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, hit that thumbs up, comment. Y'all know I like talking to y'all. So I'll see y'all on the next one and have a blessed night.